How to create multiple product pages in Shopify for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be showing you how you can get started with building multiple different product pages on Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, when you create your online store, this is what it's probably going to look like if you do not, you know, customize and create your pages how you want them to be. So you might just have, you know, one basic page and then within that page, you have all of your products displayed, but this is not a great way to display your products. Instead, I will break down to you how you can get started with product categorization and creating separate pages for your products. So before I start building my pages, I need to have some system of organization for my products. This can easily be done simply by clicking on products and then clicking on collections. Over here, you can add a particular collection name that you want to use and then add your specific designated product into that collection. So for example, I start a, you know, clothing store. And the different categories I have or the different types of products I sell include t-shirts, jeans, hoodies, and sweatshirts. So instead of displaying all of these products in one page, I can create separate pages. To make that process easier, I can create a collection for each individual page that I want to create. So one page for t-shirts, one page for hoodies, one page for sweatshirts, and I can just add all of these products in the particular aforementioned category. So to do that, all you have to do is click on product over here. You guys can see I have a couple of different types of product. So I'm going to show you guys how to create one collection because I've already created the other ones. So to create your collection, just click on create collection on the top right. Then you're going to name your collection. So this is going to be tops and shirts. And then I'm going to add the collection type as manual. And then I'm just going to click on save over here. Once I click on save, I'm going to manually add my products and you will be able to see all of your products displayed. And these are the three products that I want to add. And just like that, I've added my products. Now I want to build three separate product pages to display these three particular categories of products. So for that, all you do is click on online store over here and then you can click on pages. Once you click on pages on online store on your left navigation panel, you can click on add page on the top right and then create a page by the name of your specific category. So we have bags and then you will see your online store template. So you can click on customize template and you can customize the template that you want uh, for your particular page. Uh, usually it's pretty easy just to just leave it at default page because we're going to be editing these later on anyways. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of setting up, you know, new templates, you can easily just leave it at default page. And I'm just going to leave it at default page. Now I'm going to create a second page, which is going to be our footwear one. And I'm going to click on save. And then I'm going to create a final page of tops and shirts, which was just our final category or collection that we created like this. So once you have created all of the pages that you want to display your product in, you want to go into your navigation. Now this is also present right below your online store in your drop down menu. And from here, you want to click on your main menu. Your main menu is not automatically going to add all of the new pages. So you want to click on that over here. And you want to, first off, the catalog section can be edited and you can uh, rename this to all products if you want to display all of your products. Or you can also do this. You can name it products or just rename it to shop. And then over here, instead of that, you can link it to collections. And then this specific page can display all of your collections. And then you just want to click on apply changes. Now, once you do that, you want to click on add menu item and you want to start adding all of the page names that you want to add. So all of the product pages you want to add, add such as bags. And then the link is going to be to a particular collection and that collection will be the bags collection add. And now another one for our footwear one and then another one for our now, keep in mind that if you follow this kind of arrangement, any product that products that are not categorized in a particular collection won't be displayed on your store unless you create a all product section. 
So make sure that you are displaying your product. All of your products are added in a particular collection. Even if it might feel like, you know, it's a bit of a reach, still you want to display all of your products. Now, once you have created these pages or these menu items, what you want to do is you want to create this as sub pages. So I don't want this to appear right on my menu panel. I want all of my uh, product pages to appear as sub items of the shop page. So because I want my pages to appear as a sub page, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag these and you want to hold them with these little dots that you see on the left side and you just want to do a left click and then you want to move it towards the right once you move them towards the right they will appear as sub pages so i want all of these to appear as sub pages of the shop section and you can even create sub pages of sub pages so if i want to divide the tops and shirt sections so i can create sub pages to further divide those but once you have all of this added into your navigation bar or navigation panel menu whatever you might want to call it then you just want to click on save over here and once you click on save your navigation panel on your shopify store for your multiple product pages will be added so you guys can see these are the product pages now there is one issue to keep in mind whenever you are creating these kinds of pages is that you make sure that all of your pages have been, you know, have been added uh, in those specific uh, categories. So all of the categories have products and all of your products are covering all of your bases. If you have any remaining products that have not been added into any particular category, those won't show up in your shop section. So that is something to keep in mind whenever you are building your Shopify store. So if you don't have a particular page that, uh, you know, if you don't have a particular category or collection that a product fits in, how can you create a all products page? Well, for that, you can simply click on add menu item to shop and you can add all products or you can add a category like featured collection or uh, hot sellers, best sellers, whatever you want. And then you can add a particular product. So I want to create a all products page and I'm just going to click on all products just like that in my shop section. I can put this end to end as well if I want and I can also create another menu item which might be best sellers and let's say I'm trying to push particular products even if they're not best sellers. So I can go into best sellers and select only like a couple of different products over here and I let's say I want to link a collection. Or instead of that, let's say I just want to link product or instead of even, you know, linking those products like so, you can just create a page called best sellers and I'll show you guys how you can formulate that. So you can create the item so you can click on add menu item and for that, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back into my pages section. I'm going to click on add page and let's say it's going to be just click on best sellers just create a page called best sellers then go into your pages section click on view page over here this will just display your collection or any whatever your default setting is from here you want to click on customize which will open up the shopify editor and you can display the product of your choice so for example i am trying to push certain products uh, they might not be you know one or two products i might want to try to push a couple of products so a couple of products can easily be pushed just by clicking on over here. So you can see you have your template in your template. You have your collections list and I'm just going to remove this section. Instead, you will just add section over here and you can add your featured collection, a collections list or any kind of product. So let's say you just want to add your featured product over here and then you can add multiple different featured products. So you can just click on select product and add whichever product you want and you can create multiple sections like this so you can add another product like this and you can add multiple different bestsellers in your shopify store and then add this as a page so once you have saved this page you're going to click on pages and this is your going to be a default page and then you just have to make sure that you are including this in your menu or navigation panel as well. 
So in this way, you can build your own multiple product page on Shopify. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video.